If you guys want some more wedding tips, wedding regrets, I have a couple videos, I think three other videos that I will leave down below so you guys can check them out. I talk about more wedding tips, wedding regrets, things like that. So if you enjoyed this one, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and go check out the other videos. So for the first tip, I think this one is super important and that is connecting with your vendors. It may seem a little silly or maybe you're like, obviously you have to like your vendors in order to hire them, but not just like them. I think you should connect with them on a personal level. There were some vendors that I didn't really connect with, but I liked their work and they had good reviews that I was like, okay, we're gonna hire them, but it ended up it wasn't one of my favorite vendors. I can honestly tell that if I connected with a vendor, they did really well on the wedding day. If I didn't really connect with them on a personal level, not that they did a bad job, but I could tell the difference between connecting with them and not connecting with them. For instance, my photographer, I could, the second I talked to her, I connected with her so well. We were so compatible and I knew that I wanted her to be my photographer. I remember talking to her before the wedding, like before I really even knew her and she was like, if you need any help with your wedding, not even just photo stuff, if you need help with your dress, your, like anything, just give me a call. I'm always here for you. And at the time I was like, okay, yeah, thanks. Like, wow, that's really nice. And then looking back on our wedding day, she was the one that was running around helping with anything she could. And we ended up forgetting the corsages. And she, after the ceremony, she was like, okay, not a big deal, but I found the corsages. <laughs> and it wasn't even her responsibility to know that, but she just found them and like kind of controlled the situation. Also, when I was getting ready, I was so thirsty. We forgot water, we were so scrambled. And she was like, okay, she went upstairs and she was like, we gotta find Lindsay water. And luckily my dad was able to bring water, but she was just like on top of everything and way more than just a photographer. So not necessarily saying that your vendors need to do that. Like if, you know, your florist, like don't expect her to like do things for the other vendors do, but I would definitely say connect with your vendors on a personal level and don't just jump into the first vendor you see, which I feel like I kind of did that for a few of them. It all worked out, it was fine, but that was that's kind of like my number one tip is to really connect with your vendors so that you know, it can make your day go very smoothly. My next tip is something that I think I talked about briefly in my regrets video, and that is planning your pictures ahead of time. I think I did this well, but also didn't do it very well. I had a really specific idea that I wanted to do before our wedding while I was getting ready, and my photographer did a great job of doing that. I got robes for me and my bridal party, or my bridesmaids and my maid of honor, and I also made champagne glasses, and we had orange juice in it because we weren't allowed to bring extra alcohol to the venue, but it's fine. <laughs> and I had a specific look I wanted and she captured it. But then also during some of the photos, I just wish I would have gotten different photos. So I would definitely say plan your photos ahead, especially if pictures are very important to you, like they were for me. I know some brides are like, you know, just get a couple, just, and which is totally fine to each his own, but pictures were important to me. So if they are to you, definitely I would write down on a piece of paper, like the poses you want, the certain ideas you want, really talk to your photographer. The photos that I kind of wanted, it's not my photographer's fault. I should have said that I wanted certain photos. I just blanked out and I did give her specific poses and people that I wanted, but I just like forgot some, but I definitely would say plan it all out so that your photographer has an idea and you kind of know, you, so you kind of know and you get to have all the pictures that you want. My next tip is something that maybe won't work for every bride or every couple, and that is picking a venue that has decor already. Where I got wedding, they had a big pole barn of decor, so we did not have to bring any decor. The only decor that we really brought was my card box and um, this wood piece that I had all my guests sign. That was really it that I brought decor, but the barn had the, um, why can't I think of the word? 
center pieces and they had a lot of different choices so I wasn't just stuck with one choice I was able to pick also the florist was able to bring pieces for the center pieces as well so that was really convenient because we were driving three hours to my venue that would have been really hard to bring a bunch of decor there so I, it was so much easier to just like I was able to go through the little pole barn that they had and pick what things I liked they also printed out or I think my mom printed out all the decor pieces that they had and we circled what we wanted and then we sent it back to them and they had it all out for us like they had it outside of the barn and we were able to put it together and the barn also helped us with that so that's something to think about is to find a venue that already has decor put up especially if you know decor is like so important but you have so many other things going on in your mind about the wedding that it's just easier to have it all there for you now my next tip is something that I also briefly talked about in my regrets video but I just wanted to talk about it again and that is drink water I drank a little bit of water and I think I had a truly or two, but I never even finished them. And by the end of the night, I had a splitting headache and I know I was dehydrated. So make sure you drink water, drink enough water because you'll be sweating, especially with a summer wedding. Like obviously we had a June wedding, so it was pretty hot and I got really dehydrated. So definitely, definitely drink water. My last tip is something that I think most brides do or people do at their wedding and that is to give your vow books to your maid of honor and your best man. Now you may not even be saying vows like you might not have wrote your own vows but this was something I didn't think about until a couple days before my wedding <laughs> and I'm like shoot how am I gonna bring down my book and things like that. So I want to say that Carter actually had his book and his jacket so maybe don't give it to your best man but for me i gave my vow book to my maid of honor and she held it as she walked down the aisle and that was something that was very nerve-wracking for me because i had to just give it to her and just hope it makes it down <laughs> but she did a good job i didn't like it's not that i didn't think she could do it but it's just like what if i don't have my vow book what if you know, like you just go through so many things in your head, but it made it down. It was fine. And honestly, it was way better than like me holding it or giving it to Carter or like anything like that. Uh, so I definitely suggest giving your vow book to your maid of honor. I feel like people do that. I just blinked out and was like, oh, okay, I could give it to my maid of honor. So if you haven't thought about that and you need an idea, give it to your maid of honor. <laughs> So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something from it if you are a future bride or if you just like talking about weddings. Like I said, I will leave all my other videos down below. Go ahead, check those out because I also have a lot of great tips on there as well. And I wish all the future brides or grooms good luck out there if you're planning your wedding. It is stressful, but it's worth it in the end. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.